Hello folks, Junkie Rock 13 here. Everything vaping related, it's Junkie Rock 13. My real name's Ross Sanders, and I'm here bringing you a look at the Pit Gen. It is a Genesis style atomizer. Um, I bought this on the UK forums. There was a thread, uh, the seller was from Israel, so these come from Israel. I'm not sure if he currently has a list going or if he's going to be selling any more of these. Um, this was the first run that he did. It did take me a while to get this review done. Um, but it's here. This is the pit gen, folks. Uh, let's take a close look and then we'll talk about it. Okay, so here we go. This is the close-up of the pit gen. Now, this is all made out of stainless steel. I'm going to start off with the top cap. Standard 510 drip tip connection. Machining is very nice on this device. Uh, slant top. I believe that is a standard 1 millimeter air hole. I have not modded this air hole in this device. The threading is very nice. You might see some actually paper towel lint. I just wiped it off in there. But the threading is very nice. The machining is very nice on this device. It has sort of a uh, almost like a satin finish. Satin between a satin and a brushed finish dog is walking around. So there's the top cap. Set that right there. Now the main body portion. Now I do want to show you one part of this. Um, this little piece in here, let me just get this screwdriver. This section right here is basically in there pressure fitted and it does slide around. Now it's in there pretty tight but when I have the center post in there coming up through the middle like that I just have the screwdriver in there and I take my wrench my little needle nose and grab it I can actually spin that if I wanted to okay and if the air hole is not correctly lined up with your wick hole, you can line it up by turning this. Okay, so there's no sanding or um, any uh, any other modifications that you would need to do, except for moving this little center plate in there. You have a center hole that will come up from your positive connection. This large hole right here is the fill hole. Um, I, it does come with a screw. I have misplaced the screw because I don't keep the screw for the fill hole in while I'm vaping, so I cannot find the screw for this one now. But it was a standard uh, Phillips head screw that went in there. And your wick hole is there. Now the threading for the top cap. Very nice threading. Come on, focus. There you go. Okay, and there's threading in there. There's the inside. <clears throat> now this is the bottom portion. You'll notice a piece of uh, what I believe to be Delrin or a Teflon insulator for the positive post. Okay, and there you have some nice threading there an o-ring and your 510 connection with the insulator coming right down there through there okay now this device I have had it for a little while um, so there is some like uh, 
device marks on it from scrolling down onto devices. But your positive post is a Phillips head screw. Okay, and this is going to go directly in to the bottom portion and get screwed all the way, all the way up there. Okay, I'll come out that end. Now, what's going to be going on that portion right there? I'm just going to push these off to the side. Now we have a larger hex knot with two different size holes or two different size threads, I believe. Um, this one ends up sliding on this side. You have to screw it on right at the top. So that is a side that I have been using. Screw it all the way down. And then, there we go. Now you can adjust your positive post, but it is sticking out rather. Oh. Let me actually make sure that's in all the way. Yep, there we go. I believe it's all the way up, so it can't go any further on this little hex nut there. And then we just have a threaded positive post. And this is just going to go in there. Okay. All right. So there you go. It's nice and tight into there. All right. Now we this thing is basically almost put together. Your main body portion we're going to take it, put the positive through the center hole there, and screw it together. Make sure it screws all the way down nice and tight. Okay. Alright. Now, your insulator for the positive post is this little piece of Delrin. Now if you look at it, it is actually starting to melt. Okay, um, That's one thing I do not like about these pieces. Being so close to the, um, to the wick now it does have like a little step right there that goes into the body portion. Now because it's been heated, it's actually starting to thread onto the threading. And I didn't I don't think it did that in the beginning. I think it just slid right down. Okay. Now, there you go. And then we have three little hex nuts. We do have one on there already. I'm going to take one for the negative and just throw it right on there. Okay. Then I'm going to put the other two directly on there. Okay. All right. So I'll just show you with the top cap on what it looks like fully assembled. So there you go. There is the pit, Jen. So now I'm just going to throw a coil in there. All right. I'm just going to set it right there and wrap my coil. Okay. So wrapping the coil, I am actually still using 
the method with the drill bit and my wire is going to go up over that little tiny piece right there if you can see that little cutting edge my wire will go over that so what I am using today is braided okay well, that's good you get to see it braided 32 gauge canthal or twisted I'm actually going to make a video on how to twist that. Some people have been asking me. Um, <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is just make a loop. Alright, there we go. So because these are hex nuts, you will need a little needle nose pliers or a little wrench little open end or whatever works for you, a pair of pliers. Wow. Okay, I think it's all the way down now. I just need to put some tension on it. Okay. So there you go. Nice and tight in there. And what I'm going to do is just start wrapping it around that drill bit. Now because this wire is a thicker wire I am gonna have to put a few more wraps on it than let's say a 32 gauge to get the same resistance if I was shooting for that um, when I use this twisted wire I usually aim for five wraps four to five wraps Okay, now if you notice right there that when you count them wires, one, two, three, four, five, I consider that five wraps. Okay, now make sure it's nice and tight and I go right back around the positive post and bring it back down. Okay, did you see what I did there? Okay. So I'm like pretending to go back around the wick, but I'm going to come back around the positive and back over towards the wick, or the drill bit in this case. I'm just going to tighten down. I'll thumb tight it and make sure this is nice and tight. Now you want to pull that nice and tight, okay? Then you can grab your little needle nose or whatever wrench you're using and just give it a nice little, make sure it's in there nice and tight. Then what I like to do is just line up these wires so they're nice and spaced. Make sure you give it a turn and check on both sides because some people will fail to turn it around and it will be nice and even on this side, but on the other side, like that one, is really close to the last wire or the next wire. Okay? Then your drill bit will be or should always be nice and easy to come out. You might have to give it a little wiggle depending on how tight you want. Okay, I'm just trying to not bend any of the coils or the wraps. There we go. 
Okay, I'm gonna cut off this wire so I don't have, I'm not gonna trim it all the way yet though. Just throw that piece off to the side. So there we go, I still have little leads on there. And I do already have a wick pre-made. It's just a standard 400 by 400 um, stainless steel mesh, fully oxidized. The video to make an oxidized wick will be in the video right over here. And you can follow that link to make a wick for yourself if you need to learn how. But now when I go to put it in here, I'm just going to slide it right down in between that little spindle of coil. Now if it's going in too tight, too tight where I can't get it in, I'm just going to take this wick and give it a little tighten so it could go in a little bit better. to be too loose but you don't want it to be too tight where you're actually scratching the oxidation off of the wick Just gonna grab my device, pull it in. I just have a device called the Boss. I will be doing a video on this really soon. Just gonna attach it. Let's see if we get any. Whoa! All right, that was not good. Okay, that is the one negative that I was gonna get to. You notice that the coil twisted up when I started to put the device on. Now that is because this was not tightened all the way and it ended up twisting it. Might have messed up the coil a little bit, but we will work with it. We will fix it. Okay. Now let's try that one more time. Okay. Let's see if we get any juice here. right on that Delrin piece and I don't want to melt it any more than it already has been. Okay, I'm just going to break off this bottom piece. Okay, and I am going to break off this top piece and now I see what's going on here. Okay. Now, if you notice, when I started twisting off that little lead right there, the bottom washer, or the bottom bolt right there, I'm going to actually loosen that up just a hair. This one is not completely tight. caused that's why it twisted up a little bit so I'm just gonna give this a little bit a little couple turns to tighten it up a little bit 
you shouldn't be in trouble but you never know I think I just got it all the way okay now we'll just tighten up the top there see I have mistakes happen sometimes when I make a coil too okay all right let's give it another fire see where we're at let me put my hand behind here to see if you can see where it's at with me okay we got juice we're again a pretty decent steady flow okay now I do want to see if that is going to be an issue with that wick okay I don't like the wick where it is so I am going to trim it okay so I'm going to trim off that little piece I set this down and grab my scissors hopefully get in there with the blade these are a bigger pair of scissors so okay there we go I'll just pinch it out now I am not one that pinches the end of the wick so all right okay that looks pretty good give it one more quick little fire and it looks good all right so what I have right here is this injector filled with lemon chiffon from the plume room I'm just gonna put some juice in there I have five mils in this injector and I will fill it up to see how much juice I can actually get in there five mils in there that doesn't seem right well yep five mils of juice in there it's actually a little bit less than five like four and a half okay let me just get some juice down onto that wick it's wicking nicely nice and wet and we have vapor okay folks now I know um, melting this Delrin piece or Teflon piece is my fault from giving it dry burns. Um, it is my fault. I will be the first one to admit my fault. But um, I'm used to not having a piece right there so I can give it a dry burn. But I should have thought about that before I have been doing this. So I'm just going to throw on the top cap. And you'll notice where the wick is. I just want to show you that. Where the wick is right there. Okay. There's the air hole right there. I'm going to have the air hole right in that area when I get done. Okay. And there's the air hole right over the wick. Okay. Just going to take a drip tip. Throw it in there. And see how she vapes. Okay, so there you have it. There is the pigeon all broke down, put back together, and wrapped the coil. Like I said, um, I did not 
bore out the hole to 1 16th like I normally do or 1.5 millimeters. That's the air hole that I like to vape with on my Genesis devices. I did not do this to this device um, because it's been vaping okay. I think it's like a 1.2. I'm not sure if it's a one millimeter. I really don't have um, a uh, a drill bit or something that small to test it. But um, let me show you how it vapes, and then I'll talk a little, real quick about it. Coils wrapped at 1.5. Um, it was five wraps. I believe that's what I got. Five wraps of the twisted. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, five wraps of the twisted Canthal 32 gauge. And other than me losing the fill hole screw. It hasn't been a bad device. It kind of has the same look as the other Genesis devices, um, sort of like the Did and uh, the Chobra. They all have basically the same top, or the same shape of the top. They're still a little bit different in size. I have a caliper here. I will tell you the correct size of the pitch in it is let me make sure I'm reading that correctly is it 19 it is 20 millimeters um, you can see how it looks on the boss this is a, a newer device LED that lights up. I'm going to be doing a review on the boss. But um, the Pigeon has been working pretty good for me. I've had it for a little over a month now. And it is in my Genesis rotation of devices. I like it. It's a nice, solid stainless steel device. Um, I know... <laughs> Excuse my battery on the uh, phone. It seems to do that all the time whenever I'm um, shooting a video. But um, the only thing that I don't like is that there's no option for a clear tank. Now when I have um, a lot of my devices that have clear tanks I can see the juice levels. That is a negative and I can see how people don't like devices like that but then you have to look at it that you're not gonna have to worry about juice contaminating the plastic and cracking the plastic or glass or fused quartz cracking the tank if they drop this is a nice sturdy um, stainless steel adjustable positive post um, Genesis device let me show you a couple more vapes and then we'll be out of here Nice thick vapor, but of course that is the 50-50 uh, juice of the lemon chiffon from the plume room and the current setup of 1.5 ohms and a freshly charged 18650 battery. So folks, um, I don't have, I will be able to put the link to the Pit Gen's thread on the UK vapors, but I'm not sure if they are going to be sold again. I know he was talking about having another run going um i'm not sure when it's going to start up i assume it'll probably be after the holidays but uh if you want to check them out check them out over on the uk vapors um it's called the pit gen folks from israel take care everybody and keep vaping remember 
Um, I do have a giveaway for the AGAT, which will be ending tonight at 11.59. So make sure you get over to that video and submit your entry for that giveaway. Take care, everybody, and keep on vaping.